Hey guys, it's Angel Bee here and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. In today's video, we are looking at some more Minecraft mods. These are recent, don't have a lot of downloads and definitely need more attention. So before we get into this video, please be sure to subscribe if you aren't already and let's get right into this video. So up first, we have the Minecraft mod Earth Reworked. Now this is a port of Earth Work 1.16. Add some Eastern, ancient, prehistoric inspired building materials. We have Stone Age, Bronze Age, Iron Age, and some, they just look really cool, like these timber type of blocks right here. Some materials you'll have to work harder for, and it adds a whole bunch of items, as you can see here. So up next, we've got Kiwi Boy, and this adds a Kiwi Bird, which spawns in tigers. What does he do? Well, he just exists. It's a super cute bird that literally does nothing, but you can keep him. So up next, we've got this one, which is the Cloak of Invisibility. You wear it and you can become completely invisible. You don't even have any particles and no trace on the fact that you are invisible. And it just goes in your chest, please. Up next is Improved Backpacks, and this adds this sewing table, which is what you need in order to craft backpacks. Add leather, a spool of string, and then you'll get bound leather. Bound leather, you can smelt it into tanned leather, which is on the sewing table, mix it with wool, and you'll get a backpack of your choice. You can rename the backpack, which costs experience. You can place the backpack down, as you can see here is a white, green, and brown one. It only has two rows of slots to start with, but you can upgrade it. To upgrade it, you add the tanned leather and iron, diamond or gold, and you'll get these little pockets. You add it to your backpack and it will add more slots. If you hover over the backpack as well, it will tell you how many slots it adds and how many slots your backpack has got. You can also place it on your back. So up next, we've got an Urchid Rancher, which is Tameable Spiders. You craft a baby spider egg by using an egg, surround it by eyes, and then you'll have a little baby spider. You tame it using dark oak leaves, and it grows up to be the size of the one in the fence. You can give it a saddle, you can ride it. So up next, we've got Iron Barrels, and this just makes it so you can upgrade barrels to have more storage. It's pretty simple, you just surround it in different materials. So up next we've got more chickens. And now look at all these different types of chickens. Instead of laying eggs, they all lay items. You can capture the chickens and place it in a roost and you'll get items from these chickens. The collector will collect all the items. There is things like bow meal chicken, rose red, green, cactus, quartz, and it will give you items over time. So up next, we've got Aquafina, and this adds a large number of animals that live in the water. You'll be able to find them in all biomes. It adds angelfish, football fishes, horse, horseshoe crabs, starfish, just a whole bunch of sea creatures. This is just some of them, as you can see here. And these spider fish, which are really creepy looking and do look like spiders. So up next, we've got dimensional paintings. Now you jump through the painting and it'll take you to a different dimension. For example, the nether, but in order to get out, you need an overworld painting and it'll take you back. There is an end one as well and you just craft it with eye of ender and painting and another one is obsidian. So up next, we've got XR's decoration and this adds a large number of decorative blocks. Um, it covers architectural components and decorations of ancient civilians, such as this East Asian civilization, civilization style. We have Western style. These little windows that you can open and close. Lots of roof tile blocks and decor blocks in loads of different colors. It adds these little koi fish ponds, which are adorable. A little bonsai tree and a coral tree. Some new blocks, new fence. And here are some Mayan features that it adds and also some sci-fi decorations that it adds, which would be really cool for factory building and vents and also roof designs, which you could make using this. So we've got Cooper's Critters and this is a Minecraft mod that adds around 30 animals. You can even collect some of these in flower pots, which is an adorable feature and just take them for yourself and add them to your collection. It adds species that are endangered or threatened in the wild. And this mod basically is to help spread the awareness of them. 
It's just so cute, these little creatures. You could also give them name tags and use a different mod to capture them all. So up next, we've got the mod Ambient Additions. Now this adds ambient creatures to the world as well as utilities to capture them. Here are some of the creatures, little armadillos, little fruit black bats. We've got little moles. They're adorable little geckos. I think that's what they were called. Just look how cute they are. In order to capture them, you can use a blowgun and it will not do any damage, but it will give it slowness. And then you can shift right click and pick it up in a crate. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, please leave a like and subscribe if you aren't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.